Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. looking to put it up right away and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down we'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage because he just did it on that one force the incompletion that allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush won't it absolutely frees up your guys elsewhere he rifles one that's intercepted Picked up by James Bradbury. Brad, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, this guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Hurts. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. Touchdown! Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Elliott good on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Jake Elliott kicking off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fields this way up at the 17. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, or they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays, try and go to those spots, and get your offense moving. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Cousins. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. He's at the 30. 10, 5. And he goes diving to get as much as he can following a big gain. A nice little cherry on top there at the end. From the gun, here's Cousins. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. It's Cousins on the sneak. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Vikings are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Devin O'Connor choosing to leave his guys out there. And they'll go for two. Cook, they'll try and run it. And he'll get in. And they take an 8-7 lead. Well, they got down 7 seven. They said, we'll go for two. One up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk-reward? Right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. 
This is taken just shy of the 10. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hunger group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Second and 10 now from about the 32. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. But that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. First seeing completion on first down, and you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback on the expected passing situation. And this one complete to Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, it's Hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. But first down, it hurts. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Touchdown. Brandon, we spent time with this team before the game, and there was never any indication that they did not like their kicker. Well, it shows right now that they didn't like their kicker. Why didn't they just put it through the goalpost and take the lead? That is going to be the question that has to be answered. I don't know about you, but I'm skipping my flight. I'm going to the post-game press conference <laughs> to find out what they were thinking. Instead of playing conservative, they go through the air, and what a stunning turn of events. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Take it in at the three. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago and threw the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines to rolling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. got a yard here second and nine another run here with Sanders and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage they wind up losing a couple there so they go behind the original line of scrimmage and now third and 11 coming up backed up here tough spot needing 11 yards to pick up the first play action here's Hurts Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done.
They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Vikings, they have the football now in excellent field position. Cousins on first down. Touchdown, Vikings! Kirk Cousins on the connection to Justin Jefferson. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Cook, they'll try and run it. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. Well, the Vikings are pointing. They've got it. Minnesota football. Well, there you go. Just your everyday leading big and the onside kick it with a lead. They got it. I mean, it worked, but interesting call. I think because they have such a margin, they feel a little bit bolder about what they're doing. And it's not only just to try and increase their lead, but that's their way of saying we're in full control of this game and we can kind of do what we want. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing his cousins. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And it'll be a turnover on downs. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Right back to Sanders on first down. Through here to run. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Another run with Sanders. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Burt sets up to throw it. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. 
And the Vikings are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Well, Brad, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their air. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. Throwing on first down, but this one lines up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw, Cousins. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw and coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. Found good room to run there. Returns of 14 yards. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Here's Hurts to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing his hurts. He's got Smith here. He'll get it inside the 20. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll run with Sanders. And he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown. Miles Sanders. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. A call from Nick Sirianni. Let's go for two here, he says. Hurts will throw. He's got it at the two. And he'll get in as they're back within a score now. The lead's down to seven. Eagles now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fields this way up at the 17. The Vikings take over first down 10 at their own 21 yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. To throw once more on second and ten. Cousins. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of momentum. The other side is starting the game. On third down, Cousins. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of 16, and the Vikings have the first down as well. To the air again, it's Cousins. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. And then just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Hurt, hurt. 
to throw again on second down. Cousins, pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. They'll throw now on the final play. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by James Bradbury. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Yeah, we saw that one up here, CD. Offensive team, they touched that before it went 10 yards. Obviously, it's such a fine line, letting it go the required 10 yards, but also hey. getting to it before the hands team can. Just didn't time it out right, and that results in a flag. Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They'll look to throw here on first down. That swung out wide to Sanders. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Now that Eagle offense will stay out there as he'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. They didn't want the tie. They roll the dice and they take the lead. That felt like a tone setter, didn't it? Forget tying the ball game and feel like we're just hanging with it. We're going to go ahead and push it to a one-point lead, and that just changes the complexion of the whole game. A short kick taken at the 18. The Vikings take over first down 10 at their own 24 yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. On first and ten, Cousins. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit farther because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggling to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. On second down, Cousins again. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field, and this one winds up a turnover. Yeah, the runner crossing route here, and the idea of it is to get defenders confused about who to go with. But if you throw it too early, sometimes it's your quarterback that gets confused, and here he throws it into coverage and gets it intercepted. Ready, ready. Check, check. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Running right, here's Sanders. 
And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole that closed there quickly at the end. On second and a couple. Hurts. Quick slant here to Smith. And the Eagles are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four yard line. Looking to throw. Touchdown! Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. The call from Nick Sirianni. Let's go for two here, he says. They'll try and throw for it. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he is going to be tackled at the one-yard line. What a mess that was. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. And a lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes it. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. But with the points that we've seen... That my Brooklyn go see Shy Rock, Southside, C12, 911, good to the reality, we still outside. Mine on the riches, heart in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thrive in it. Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie, this flex, no day ready. See, we were not a ride, nobody way. We're the ones who started with it. Translation, Yanni Adibai, Yanni Ayani hits. <laughs> this goes so hard, even the ops go.